In today's tech market there is a growing need for full-stack developers. And don't just take my word for it. A LinkedIn report says the need for full-stack developers has increased by 35% every year since 2015. And this is insane growth. My name is Daniel and today I will give you a full-stack developer roadmap. A detailed guide to become a modern full-stack developer. Let's talk about all the skills and tools you need to master on your way to a pro-level full-stack developer. Let's start! Who are full-stack developers? Alright, before we start, let's answer a couple of questions. Who are full-stack web developers exactly? What do they do? And why is full-stack development so important today? Well, in very simple words, backend developers program APIs, handle databases and execute tasks necessary for website functionality. Frontend developers create user-friendly website interfaces, making web pages interactive and good-looking. But full-stack web developers can do all of that. In other words, a full-stack developer can independently create a whole website because they handle both the frontend and backend tasks on their own. These guys usually have a lot of experience and knowledge, and they can manage a full circle of web development of a website or an app. That's why there is no surprise, these professionals are in high demand. Complete full stack developer roadmap. Alright, guys, and now it's time to have a look at full stack developer roadmap. Before we dive in, I think here is something important to note. If you want to be a full stack developer, you must have a deep understanding of web development fundamentals. You should also grasp the functioning of front-end and back-end frameworks and libraries as well. You have to become proficient in managing databases and servers, and many, many other things. If you choose this path, there is a lot to learn. So even before starting, you must be completely sure this is what you want to do. Anyway, let's move on to our step-by-step -step guide. Step 1. Learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And to start, you should know the very basics of front-end development. Learn HTML and CSS. These technologies are the basic building blocks of web pages. HTML creates the structure, while CSS adds style to the page. Also, you should learn JavaScript. JavaScript programming language adds features to the front-end elements. For example, when you click the Submit button, it validates the input on the front-end and sends the form data to the backend. Step 2. Learn about version control. The next step is getting to know what version control is and learning about version control systems. Get to know Git, which is widely used version control system. Learn how to use Git commands to manage and collaborate on code repositories like GitHub. There is no web developer today who can work without it. That's why it's extremely important to master. Step 3. Learn about front-end frameworks. Next, move on to getting to know front-end frameworks. They help create complex projects and speed up the development process. Master at least one of the common front-end frameworks like React, Angular, Svelte, Next, Vue and so on. Guys, frameworks are a huge topic. There are videos on my channel taking a deep dive into frameworks, so feel free to check them out. Step 4. Learn about server-side programming. Alright, once that's done, you will want to learn more about backend technologies. That's why you have to learn a backend programming language, such as Python, Java, Ruby or any other programming language you prefer. You don't have to master all of them, but it's important to be proficient in at least one of them. Understand concepts such as server-side scripting, managing requests and interacting with databases. Step 5. Take a deeper dive into databases. It's time to take a closer look at databases and how they work. And for this, learn about database management systems such as MySQL, MongoDB or PostgreSQL. Learn how to use SQL or NoSQL databases to create, retrieve, update and delete data efficiently. As a full-stack developer, you should know how to work with databases and handle them properly. Step 6. Build RESTful APIs The next step is to learn about APIs. REST and build RESTful APIs. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It's a software architecture that sets rules for how an API should function. An API outlines the guidelines you need to follow to interact with other software systems. Guys, RESTful APIs are flexible, scalable and independent of the technology used. That's why learn how to create and use RESTful APIs effectively. Understand HTTP methods, how requests and responses work and methods for authentication and authorization. Step 7. Get to know backend frameworks. And now it's time to learn how to use backend frameworks. 
In order to be a skillful stack developer, it's very important to master one or a couple of these frameworks. They ensure fast, secure and scalable development. Discover widely used backend frameworks like Express, Django, Flask, Laravel or Ruby on Rails. Create projects uses these frameworks to understand how they manage routing, middleware and database integration. Step 8. Explore web security. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. Alright folks, and now it's time to learn more about web security. And people, web security is a huge topic. But in our case, we should understand typical web security weaknesses and discover methods to avoid them. Learn about concepts such as cross-site scripting, XSS, cross-site request forgery or CSRF and secure authentication methods. Step 9. Learn about DevOps. DevOps is another big topic. It combines software development and operations. DevOps usually helps teamwork and shared responsibility between development and operational teams. That's why learn how deployment works, explore tools like Docker and Kubernetes. Learn about continuous integration and continuous deployment practices to automate building and development processes. Step 10. Create full-stack portfolio. Folks, during your learning process you will make different projects. Projects that display your skills and problem-solving capabilities. That's why you should build a relevant full-stack portfolio with websites and apps to show your abilities to potential employers. Next, choose a tech stack. Ok, in this part you should understand one thing. The choice of technology stack depends on your product goals, desired performance and client requirements. In full-stack development there are various tech stacks for both front-end and back-end work. That can be a great solution. The most common tech stacks with basic features include MERN stack. MERN is an abbreviation named after the four main technologies included in it. MongoDB, Express, React and Node. Today MERN is a popular set of JavaScript tools used for building top-notch web apps. This technology gained rapid popularity due its robust features and flexibility. Ok, and the next – MIN stack. Just like MERN, it's named after four technologies it's made up of. Angular, Express, Node and MongoDB. The MIN stack is built on JavaScript and it's open source. And it's also a popular solution among developers. It allows to build more dynamic and robust websites and web applications. And LAMP stack. This stack includes Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. It's also one of the top choices for creating new custom web apps because of its stability and simplicity. How to improve your full-stack developer skills? Guys, if you want to become a software engineer or a full-stack web developer, you should understand that your profession requires constant skills improvement and keeping up with technology updates. Becoming a pro full-stack developer isn't easy. It's a complex, long-term and demanding path. It requires hard work and commitment. But here are some tips that helped me a lot on my journey as a software developer. And I think these tips can also help you a lot too. Keep yourself informed about the newest technologies. Today, being a full-stack developer means staying informed about the latest trends and technologies. This involves monitoring new programming languages, frameworks and tools that can enhance your development techniques. But don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that you should implement all new features as soon as new framework updates are released. Instead, it means you should be aware of them and consider using these new features that are best for your project. Participate in events and meetups. Joining industry events and meetups offer excellent opportunity to grow your network and connect with other fellow developers who have similar interests and passions. These events allow you to explore new technologies, share ideas and work together with other experts, and even find a new job or freelance project. Take part in hackathons and coding challenges. Guys, hackathons are really cool experience. Especially when you are young and ready to code 24 or 48 hours at a time without sleep. Participating in any coding challenges and competitions also enhances your abilities and provides valuable experience. Get new skills. Getting new programming skills is always great, no matter if you are a beginner or an experienced full-stack developer. 
have a growth mindset. And at the same time, to pick up new concepts and skills, you must be sure that you learn from experienced professionals. That's why courses, bootcamps and professional certification programs are the best solution here. These courses help get the necessary skills and move forward in your career. And they usually don't take much time, especially compared with university degree. That's why on my channel I have talked about some of the top online courses and certification programs. These resources offer valuable knowledge and skills, enabling beginners to enter the field of the full-stack development. I left all related links for trusted full-stack courses in the description down below. So feel free to check them out. Alright, fellow developers, that's all for my full-stack developer roadmap. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.